Alright, I want to record this. This is the 310 final drive. Missing a ring. See the ring? These, I think, have been replaced. These look to be original. They still have orange paint on them. And there's the rings are gone on this one too. These look original, these look replaced. Alright, here's your drain. There's your fill. So the oil level's here. These are your lug bolts for your tires. I believe they're 1815. I'm still waiting for the die. These seem loose. Now the goal is to get this piece off. This one turns a bit stiff. I don't remember much about the other one. Now, to get this out, I gotta pull this off. To get this off, I gotta pull this off just past the O ring. There's holes, there's two sets of holes to remove these bolts, and another set of holes to remove these bolts. They already seem to be loose. There's a knot, like this one. Inside of here, you have to pull one of these covers off to push this out just enough to get this cover off. That will let you pull this knot. You have to flatten this piece of metal, and then this knot will pretty much come off with your fingers. If not, I believe it's a 7 8 um, seven eight, seven eight. Seven eight. Seven eight. Twelve. Nothing fits perfect. See, I've tried. Seven eight. I've tried. 7 sixteenths, too small, half inch, too big, 12, fits loose, but that's the best I could do. Alright, 14 millimeter, same story, standards are too big or too small, 14, it's loose. Crescent wrench. Crescent wrench. I've never used this tool. It was one of them gifty things you get for Christmas or birthday or Father's Day or something. And I've had it many years and never used it until I got this tractor. Alright, that bolt. Flatten that out. You can pull that out. This has got to come out a bit. You can get this cap off under here. Pull this out, which allows you to pull this out. Pull the cap. It's the same kind of same knot. Now look at this. See the wear on the knot? Matches the wear on this washer. On the other side, can you see the wear? Rubbed on this bushing. No, now for fifty dollars, I bought an old thirty-ton press, just the frame, H-frame, shop press, whatever you want to call it. I rebuilt the fifty, sixty-year-old bottle jack, just a three-ton, I think. And I put that in the press. Then I used, remember the, I put the Ford three points in? 
for cross bracing I use the Belarus three-point lower arms as cross bracing on the, on it with a bunch of thick washers because this sits at an angle when you go to put this in the press this sits at an angle to this so I had to support this and keep this at 90 for the press and I gave it all I had wouldn't come out I put a torch on this just a hand torch a you know, bottle torch um, one on this side one on this side I took three deep wall sockets on extensions put them in the freezer I waited for this to get hot waited for the flash fires to get over with and then I braced them up so that this would get hot then I put the sockets one at a time inside to cool the rays because you want this cold and this hot because it'll expand and this cold will shrink and finally bang it popped out I reset everything and pushed it more put a box underneath it and then bang it popped again when it finally came completely out now look if I can find it there's a line see the line right there this bushing was sticking out where is it here at the bottom past this line about an eighth of an inch back to this where it rubbed on this this turns out to be a new bushing the only way around this bushing seems to be right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's an odd wear. Inside, it's just as good, if not better, than what you get brand new. Remember this bearing that's supposed to carry all the weight. This won't go all the way on because of the damaged spindle. See the wear on it, the shiny line sets on this. So this thing, it doesn't seem to have any wear on it. It doesn't seem to match up with the bearing. Looks at one time there was a ball joint or a ball bearing in here. That sits on there. So I want to tear this one apart. To see how this one compares can you see the wear that doesn't match up with this that's been replaced this bearing that wear is telling me that was rubbing on that this was on that this seats right about here so this is supposed to carry the weight, but it looks like this washer was carrying the weight because this stuck out an eighth of an inch. You see a line right there. I'm wondering if that should be cut off or not. This is the larger race. The wear here is negligible. That. Here, take this nut off. There's a bolt in there that seats there and holds this in. Against this and this, there's a um, a felt washer. So I'm going to see what happens. But I had to tear this all apart. Because of this. Somebody again started the work and never finished it. And I really don't like this sitting on that. Something just doesn't seem right. So this one's coming apart. I'm going to clean it. Tear it apart. 